Okay. So welcome to Python training. Like, uh, so this batch is going to be 261 batch uh, for logical lab. Right. I'm very sorry that yesterday I couldn't be able to connect because I had a technical problem. Uh, so some net problem I had, I couldn't be able to connect and uh, my mobile was also at the problem. I could not be able to reach out uh, to the logical labs and uh, I'm very sorry for that. Right. Uh, so the, the batch starts today, like uh, today's a demo class, right? Uh, so every, actually, uh, the class is going to be for every weekend. So 7 to 9 p.m., right? So I'm the trainer. My name is Rakesh Kumar. Got it. And uh, the course we uh, I think they would have discussed with you. It is 4130. A duration is going to be 40 days. Got it. So the logical, like, uh, so like, uh, thing is that any queries you want to contact, you can contact to the support team here. So the following number is there, 8074509049 or 9390246410. And in case you want to text uh, something, like you want to send a mail, support at logical, logiclabstech.com, you can uh, mail here. Got it. So this is the general queries here. Got it. Uh, so the general queries uh, uh, for the first two section will be free to attend. And on third section onwards, uh, the Zoom meeting link will be shared to the registered participants only. Got it. So like uh, no batch shifting is possible. Uh, for session update, you have to join your WhatsApp community. The uh, link has been provided here. All the section recordings and notes will, notes will be accessed through the Graphy. Right, there's a portal called Graphy. It'll be up uploaded everything. Whatever I share it, I will share it to uh, Logical back backend team. Got it. So they will upload it to the Graphy. You can download all my PPDs, everything there at uh, uh, Graphy, and you can uh, make a. Uh, you can prepare yourself. Right. So the Logical Lab team will be available from Monday to Saturday between 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. IST. Got it. So any queries, anything you want, you can contact support at logicallabtech.com. And uh, uh, in case you want to call, you can call to 9390246410. Any queries, right, any doubts, you have to send a mail to support at logicallabtech.com. So they will uh, forward it to me. So accordingly, I will get contacted and I, I will resolve your queries. Got it. So like uh, uh, these are the social media so in case you want to connect with Logical Lab, like uh, this is a website, logicallabtech.com, right? Uh, Telegram group, so like HTTP colon, double slash, t.me, like Logical Lab Tech. Facebook also, you have Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, all those stuff you have here. Got it. So this is all about the Logical Lab. Like uh, coming back up. So now coming back to Python, the course content, right? So here is the course content for you for 40, 40 days actually. Got it. So um, like thing is that uh, we have core Python. We start with Python basic. In the Python basic, we're going to discuss about what is Python, why Python, history of Python, application of Python, futures of Python, advanced advantage of Python, versions of Python, installation of Python, right? flavors of Python, comparison between various programming languages. Then we are going to discuss about operators, operations, like uh, um, like Python modes of execution, interactive mode of execution, batch mode of execution, right? We're going to discuss about IDEs, right? Then we go with data type, constant, variables, comments in Python, output and print function, right? Uh, we're going to discuss about uh, input function, type conversions, right? Uh, a type, ID, function, comments, escape sequence, the so strings in Python, right? In the indices and slicing in Python. So this goes with the second chapter. And third chapter goes with operators in Python, right? Uh, we discuss with arithmetic operator, comparison operator, logical operator, assignment operator, shorthand assignment operator, bitwise operator, membership operator, identity operator. Then we discuss about IDEs. Um, PyCharm ID installation, working with PyCharm, PyCharm component, Anaco insta in installing uh, Anaconda, right? What is Conda? How to use Anaconda prompt, Anaconda navigator, Jupyter boot notebook, Jupyter future, right? Uh, so, Spider IDE. So, we're going to discuss about IDE here, right? All the stuff. Then we discuss about flow control. You know very well about, right? All this is going to be common in all the languages like uh, uh, 
block uh, class here and indent in Python. Um, then we're going to describe conditional statements like if, if, else, if, else, if, right? So all those stuff. Then we'll go and describe about looping statements while, uh, while else, for loop, range in for loop, nested for loop, break statement, continuous statement, pass statement, right? So next chapter goes with strings in Python. Elaborate, we're going to describe strings here. Creating a string, right? A string indexing, uh, string slicing, string con uh, concatenation, uh, string comparison, uh, string splitting and joining, and then uh, finding substring, right? Uh, case changes and split string, string methods and so on. Then multiple methods are there. Here. Then we're going to discuss with collections in Python, like list, tuple set, dictionaries, right? And what are the functions in the list? What are the uh, functions in tuple? What are the functions in set? What are the functions, the multiple functions, mm -hmm. predefined function that we have it in dictionary? All we are going to discuss, right? Methods of collection, nested collection, different between list and tuple, set and dictionary, right? And so on. All these things we are going to discuss. Then uh, we go with the Python list, right? Python tuple. So like in the Python list, we are going to discuss about list property, list creation, list indexing and slicing, list operation, nested list, list modification, list insertion, deletion, list methods, and tuples, right? So same, like we are going to discuss about properties, uh, creation, tuple creation, index and slicing, tuple operation, nested tuple, tuple method, different between list and tuple. And then we are going to discuss Python sets, right? set properties, set creation, set operation, mathematical operation, set method, insertion, deletion operation, and Python dictionary, right? So dictionary property, dictionary creation, dictionary operation, and uh, uh, we are going to discuss dictionary methods, right? Uh, insertion, deletion uh, in the dictionary. Right, difference between list, tuple, set, and dictionary here. We are going to discuss, right, Python function. Then thereafter, we are going to discuss the Python function. So how to write a function, how to define a function, how to call a function, what is the properties of function, example of function, categories of function. Like we have, uh, like C language, we have different types of categories, right, here also. We have default argument, non-default argument, keyword argument, non-keyword argument, variable length argument, scope variable, call by value in call by reference, Passing collections to function, local and global variable, recursive function, Boolean function, passing function to function, right? And then we are going to discuss about anonymous function, right? Or lambda function. Then uh, we are going to discuss about filter and map function, right? So then uh, followed with, uh, we are going to discuss fourth, uh, 14th uh, chapter goes with modules in Python. Modules in Python. Right. So, like, uh, what is a model? Right. What is a model? Uh, we're going to discuss about what is a model, different types of model, creating user defined model, setting a path, and you, how to use import statement, normal import from import, model alias, DIR function, working with standard models like uh, math and other models like random, date, time, and so on, OS model. So, then for thereafter, we're going to discuss about packages. How to create a package here, right? Uh, how to import packages like uh, init dot uh, py files and defining the sub package, importing the sub packages, packages so on. Here we are going to discuss about all those things. Then sixteenth um, module we are going to discuss about errors and exception handling, types of errors, compiler error, runtime error. First of all, we are going to discuss about what is exception, what is the need for handling an exception, predefined exception, and how to use try catch block. Nested block handling multiple exception. Define use that is so we're going to discuss user defined exception, raise statements, and then followed with uh, we go with file handling. Right. So like even in C language, we have uh, different type of file handling functions like uh, F seek, F tell, right? Like seek tell methods, right? So on like opening a file, closing a file, writing a data or text into a file, right? Uh, reading a data from the file, appending the data from the file. Right, uh, all those things like with open statement, various, and we are going to discuss about all these various functions. Got it. Then followed with, we are going to discuss about hoops concept. So these are the basic things here to discuss, and now we come into hoops concept here. Right. So in the hoops concept, we are going to discuss about all the hoops feature, like uh, hoops feature and encapsulation, abstract and class object, uh, static and non-static variable, defining a method, defining a difference between function method. Constructor, parameter constructor, right, right. So then built in attributes, object reference, 
destructive garbage collection inheritance types of inheritance uh, polymorphism overriding super statement right super of nature right all this thing we go discuss then we go with the regular expression right so we are going to discuss about what is regular expression uh, forming your regular expression compiling your regular how do you compile your regular expression grouping matching your function search function we are going to discuss about search function matching versus search and splitting a string replacing a text with validation so on we are going to discuss then we are going to discuss about database access how do you as you use database here how do you connect with the database how to insert oracle database creating a database user installing oracle python modules right establishing connection with oracle closing a database collection cursor object right so then uh, we are going to discuss about executing your sql queries retrieving the data from database binding variable execution sql queries transaction management and handling errors so here also we have exception handling right we do discuss about all these things then we are going to discuss about uh, date and time functions right predefined functions how to use date and time classes here date and time object calendar in python time module python calendar modules and then we are going to discuss about uh, um, system modules like get cw list the ar uh, change the ar make the ar rename your file remove your file or the file operation here right os self and os operation and so on got it so these are the modules nearly about 22 modules are like 22 chapters that we are going to discuss throughout this uh, uh, learning uh, path right so i hope uh, you uh, you would have received this uh, document in your uh, logical lab link also i, I hope that uh, you will all have this um, uh, uh, content with you right and now let's have dive into my uh, session so is it audible you are able to see it you are able to see my ppt yes sir yes yes so is it like you are new to python or you already you are a programmer like how do like uh, all guys like is it mixed back or like uh, can i know that hello Sir, I am new to the Python language, so okay. I don't know much about Python. Uh, how many of you don't know uh, about Python? How many of you are new to Python? Sir, I'm okay. Yeah. Totally Start with me. Yeah. Yeah, for, uh, Muhammad, you are new new to Python, right? Uh, totally new, sir. I mean, I'm new to programming in general. Okay. How about Naomi Young? Stanley? Yes, I'm new to Python. I'm IT support specialist. Okay, okay. How about uh, Victor Cooker? Yeah, I'm also new to Python. Uh, okay. I yeah. hope that everybody is new to Python, right? So Abhishek, Andrew, ba Andrew, Ashraf Abbas, right? Yeah, yeah, even I am new to Python. Uh, Muhammad, right? So yes, they... I'm new to Python as well. Okay, then Andrew, Bain, uh, like uh, Krishna Sai. Right, Mohammed, uh, Ryan. Yeah, I'm new to Python as well. Okay. Yes, sir, I'm new to Python. So fine. So thing is that I see like uh, everybody's new to Python. Okay, fine. So that because I can drive accordingly, right? So if you already uh, know something in Python, so that uh, uh, I have to drive accordingly. So like uh, since you are all new to Python, right? Fine. We'll start from basic here. Right. So thing is that you should know what is Python. Right. So Python is going to be a general purpose and high level interpreted and dynamic typed language. Right. It's a dynamically typed language, programming language created by Gudo Van Rossum. Got it. So it has been created by Gudo or Van Rossum. He's the person who created this is a general purpose language. Like other language, it's a high level language. It is an interpreter. It is not a compiler. Right. It's a dynamically typed language. Got it. So, thing is that you should know what is a Python. Python is nothing but a general purpose language. It's a high level language. It uses interpreter. Interpreter means step by step, one by one, each and every line will be, uh, what is it, compiled, right? If there is any error, it will stop there. Once you compile, once you correct it, then only uh, the compiler will, or the interpreter will move to the next line. If it is a compiler, fine. It will try to compile the entire program, whatever code you write. And then it will throw the errors. Right? But here, it will check each and every line by line here. Like, uh, 
basic program. You would have heard about the basic programming. So that is also an interpreter term, right? Similar way, if your other languages, whatever you learn, like Java, like C, C++, all it is compiler. But here Python is an interpreter. It's a dynamically typed language. So it means that it has a data type. Got it. So like it is being created by uh, Guru Van Rasam. Got it. So like uh, we should know what is general purpose, right? It is language designed for using, for writing software, right? So in various domains. You can use it in multiple domains. So it is general purpose. It is used for multiple right domains. Even you can use it for healthcare. Even you can use it for um, for the entertainment, right? You can use it for uh, um, what is it uh, like uh, system programming for any kind of programming. Any for any domain that can be able to use it, and it's a high level language. So it uses natural language elements, automate significant areas, and computing such as memory allocation, right? So it uh, use it uses the area of computing. Uh, and in the memory allocation here, and it is an interpreter. As I told you, it's an interpreter. The Python script is saved and executed in game format in which you create the script. As, oppo as, as opposed to compile language, where the code is first to translate to set of machine specific interaction instruction and then saved as an executable file. So here, like what happens? Like the code, the script will be saved as it is. Like in C, com C compiler, Java compiler, what? It has been converted into intermediate code, but here it is not the case, right? And the script will be saved as it is, right? But it will be converted, right? The code is first translated to machine specific instruction. There also we do it, right? And then it will be saved, it will be saved then saved as an executable file, right? So then it will be saved as an executable file. Then executable file will be executed accordingly, and then we get we get up output here. So mean that. So it is going to check each and every line by line, one by one, right? And then, so if there is any syntax, you're going to check for syntax, syntax and semantical errors, all those stuff. And then once it is done, right, then your your code is ready. Now it is in the executable format. Now it tries to execute, like same basic programming, right? It'll create an object, uh, like OBJ file, kind of OBJ file, like a similar way here also, it is going to be, they're going to create a EXE, EXE, like EXE file and then try to get executed. And it is a dynamic type type language, right? So dynamic type means that the Python processor automatically infers and identifies the type of variable, right? So dynamically type means like uh, it re it requires a data type. Automatically it identifies the type of variable, what kind of type of variable. On the basis of what kind of data type you have assigned to the variable, right? But in C language or other language, it is a um, the mandate is that you have to define the type of data type here. But here, because it is dynamic in nature, it identifies what kind of data type uh, you are going to, what kind of type uh, by, by looking onto the variable, it can understand what kind of variable. Now, say for example, uh, num equal to 10. If I assign num equal to 10, when I assign num equal to 10, so the Python interpreter can identify that it is going to be a number data type or integer data type. Got it. That is what is called dynamically typed. So this is all like a, a general purpose, high level language, interpreted. We are going to use interpreted here, right? And then it's a dynamically typed language. Got it. So like, uh, and easy to understand, right? So like other languages, it is also going to be a general language. So uh, even beginners can able to understand, free from open source language, right? So it is, it is open source, means it is, it is free. The Python uh, interpreter is going to be free. You can download it easily. You can install it, right? And then you can start developing or uh, writing your code here. And fewer code lines, less time, right? But here, the very small, small code you're going to write, not like the C or Java programming. In Java programming or C programming, you can write a very big code, right? But here you can uh, you can minimize. You're going to write less coding here, right? Less. You're going to take uh, comp uh, interpreting also going to take very less time here. Right, so whatever code here, if for example, you're going to write 1,000 lines, but here you're going to write only for 500 lines. Right, so on. So the, it is going to have fewer code li coding lines and less time. So right, approved by data scientists here. So Python is increasingly becoming the top preferred language for data science, machine learning, and so on. Right, Python is preferred for machine learning, data science, and other uh, areas. Right, Python has been preferred here. And huge, has a huge community, right, all over the world. Right, in case you got stuck somewhere else, right, uh, 
You can go into commentary, you can post your uh, comments or everything. So immediately you get a help here. You can reach out and you can get the help here. So like we have a community for Python here. So that is why we go for Python, right? Most of them use Python because you write very less code, right? You write very less code. That is why you go for Python, right? So whenever, like when even students also, in any college students, also, what they do is uh, when you when you when they study multiple languages, they prefer Python because they write very less code, right? So, what are the features of Python? Right, it's object oriented, cross platform, right? Rich library, it's kind of rich library, simple to use, integrable, right? And elegant syntax, right? So, main thing is object oriented. Here in Python also we have object oriented. Just now I told you, uh, we can write class, right? Object, we can create an object. Uh, I can use abstraction, polymorphism, encapsulation, right? In uh, like uh, inheritance, multiple types of inheritance, right? All those concepts you can use it here, and uh, we can use it in any platform. It is not only for single platform. It can be used in uh, uh, Windows platform or it can be used in Linux, Apple Macintosh, right? The Sun Solar is any any platform. It's a cloud cross platform, right? That's rich libraries. We have multiple modules libraries like. Uh, so for each and every uh, thing, we have a module, we have a multiple libraries here, and it is going to be simple to use, right? We're going to write very simple, simple um, syntax to write a code here, and you can able to integrate it with multiple other languages also, right? And the syntax is going to be elegant, right? So these are the futures of uh, uh, Python. These are the futures of Python, right? And coming to applications of Python, right? Coming to applications of Python. Where all we use application, where all we use Python here. So to develop your web application, right? In case you want to develop your web application, right? There we use Python. Create a web application for different levels. We use Python, right? For analyzing your data, right? For data analysis, we're going to use Python here. There we have a lot of rich libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and so on. We have uh, different types of uh, uh, libraries here that those are. Uh, NumPy, Pandas, all those things you're going to discuss uh, later in the uh, advanced course, right? And uh, it is used in machine learning. Just now I told you, we use in machine learning. It is used to implement your predictive analysis by making use of, and uh, we try to uh, train the system also. We're going to create a system, and then we're going to train the system accordingly. There we're going to use data sets, right? Uh, right, cancer data sets, like uh, flower data sets, and we're going to train accordingly, right? And we're going to analyze the data, right? For that purpose, using machine learning, machine learning, we use Python game, right? And for game development also, we use Python. For game development also, we use Python here. So we have a module called a Pi game. Using that, we can develop a game also using Python. And for automation, right? Uh, like sending same emails and other thing, right? For automation, we use Python here. So these are the different areas, right? We use Python. We use for web application, for data analysis, for machine learning purpose, right? For gaming purpose and uh, for automation, we use Python. Got it? So this is all about Python, right? Just introduction to Python. So I hope you understand my language, right? Everybody, right? Do you have any doubts as of now? Do you have any doubts as of now? I hope you understand. No, no, sir. Language, right? Yes, sir. sir. Uh, I, I don't have a doubt, sir. But unlike others, I'm not. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm completely. Hi, sir. Okay. Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah. Now we are audible. Tell me, sir. Okay. So I don't have a doubt, sir. Uh, no. Which is that I'm ex um, a totally new uh, newbie to programming in general. Now I'm starting off with Python. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to do my own research, like what is the interpreter, what is object based okay. programming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So I, I would like to ask if if you get if, if you have a uh, can I get a, a PDF of the whole this thing? So okay, once I uh, once I complete uh, uh this mm -hmm. uh, content, then I'll add it on the graphy. You can download it and you can make use of it. Then uh, you can access it. In in the graphy, what is the graphy? Is a platform which is being used. Oh, okay. Lab, right, you have to log in. Okay. So once you okay. once you join the course. Right, you'll you'll mm -hmm. be given access to graphy, right? Whatever I see. exercises I upload, right, uh, right, and uh, my uh, documents, everything will be loaded there, right? Mm -hmm. You uploaded it. You can have. You'll have an access once you join the course. So you'll be yes, given 
teaching the graphy like but now it is a demo class you will not be allowed to do it but uh, once you join the course right uh, once you pay the fees mm -hmm. and all those stuff, right right then uh, you will be allowed to access all my uh, documents and everything so then and there okay. you can everything can do it and if you have any doubts you have to uh, send a mail to the logical lab the support people i understand thank you so much uh, so now we go for installation python installation we have to install python right so in order to install python i already installed my python but you guys when you want to install python right we have multiple uh, ides here right or id we have or we have python first we have to download python in order to download python we have to go to this website python.org then download for windows we have a separate python version right 64 bit version or like um, nowadays we don't have 32 bit uh, systems at all everything is 64 bit right so according they're going to download it and uh, it is open source you can download it you can use it and we have uh, another uh, uh, id called anaconda from there also you can uh, uh, download from you can go to this website called anaconda.com products individuals from there you can download it you can uh, install anaconda through anaconda also you can uh, work with python right we have datacamp.com community tutorials right so installing anaconda right uh, windows from here also you can able to download uh, your anaconda and jupyter notebook also you can download right anyway i go i'm going to show all these things one by one later right in case you want to download you can use all these things or you can type your code on the notepad also right type and then you can use and uh, you can execute it or uh, the command line also you can do it right so that you're going to install like first thing is that what you're going to be you're going to download python from python.org you can download and how to install it right so like what is the steps for python downloading python in case you're going to uh, install anaconda right it's up to you you can download anaconda can install it or you can go to python and then you can download like right? like this i can show you that uh, python like uh, for example So this is a website from here you're going to download your python right and go to your download for windows provided if you're going to use windows right i think most of them would be use windows or other source code is also available here like apple macintosh for other platforms we have it right you go to this website say right? python at you can download your python here got it and then you try to install got it so like uh, once you install right once you download and install so it is going to be like exe file you're going to have it right you're going to click on next access the python will be installed got it so after that what you have to do is you have to check the python whether python is installed or not now you go to the command prompt right you go to the command prompt like this right so like uh, let me show the command prompt uh This is what we call this command prompt. You are able to see my command prompt, right? You are all able to see my command prompt, right? Right? So now yes. what you do? You go and type Python hyphen hyphen version. When you say version, it is going to give what is my version. So it means my Python has been installed here. Right? I got a Python here. So in that case, I can use, I can start writing my code here, right? And you have to go to environment variables and you have to set your uh, environment variable like uh, c colon slash programming file slash python dot exe that you have to give it so that uh, you have to set your path there so once you set your path right then what happens uh, anywhere from any uh folders and any uh, drives you can able to execute your code and have so you're going to like how you do with java right you set your environment variables you go to environment variables and you're going to set your path so that uh, you can write java code from anywhere within your laptop right uh, Anywhere you can write and you can execute your code. So similar way, Python also after installing a Python, right? You're going to check how do you going to check it by using a command called Python hyphen hyphen version. 
they're going to give you what is the version of the Python here. Got it? So like this, you're going to get, uh, you're going to install it. Got it. Or you go to the python.org and we have uh, this open source code. You can download. Now the latest version is 3.2, 12.1 is there in download for Windows. Like, uh, like Macintosh also, right? For Macintosh also, 3.12.1. Likewise, we have, uh, uh, for other platform also, we have it. Right? For uh, Python for AXI, Python for IBM, for iOS, right? Uh, iPad, OS, right? So for Solaris, right? For uh, every HP, Unix, like Linux, right? We have uh, different uh, uh, Python uh, uh, versions are available. Uh, so you can, according to your operating system, you can download from python.org and you can install it. Got it? One more. Fine. So um, now we'll see how to uh, download from Anaconda. In case you want to download from Anaconda, you have to go with anaconda.com. Right. What you do is that download from Anaconda. So this is older version, but now we'll have a higher version. You have to install Anaconda. So once you in install Anaconda, right, you have to install Jupyter Notebook also. Right. This is all what you do. You try to browse, right. Once you try to browse and try to install your Anaconda or whichever you wanted, your Jupyter Notebook, whichever you wanted, you can install it. Just run your command, right. Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook will be open here, right, accordingly. Got it. So like uh, we're going to discuss about Vital Python, right? Uh, so to open a Jupyter Notebook, right? So locate and open your Anaconda na Navigator. Search for no do Jupyter Notebook in Anaconda Navigator and click on it. So in first you have to install Anaconda, then you have to install Jupyter Notebook, right? Then you get open, right? When you say type no Jupyter Notebook, uh, right? Uh, then you're going to click on that is in the Anaconda Navigator, click on it, you'll get open like this. A new window, should open in the browser of your choice, right? A new window will be opened here. Now, say for example, let me check. I have uh, Anaconda. No, I don't have Anaconda. Now, let me go for Anaconda here. Like, uh, I have to click on this Anaconda. Again, and show my website. So this is the Anaconda here, right? So in case you have to go to anaconda.com, press download here because uh, accept all, accept all. Let accept cookies here. So fine. Now you have to download the Anaconda. Get additional install here for Windows, uh, Apple Macintosh, for Linux, right? We have Anaconda here accordingly. You have to click on download. So it is getting downloaded here. So like uh, it got downloaded. Right. So after this, what you have to do, you have to install your Anaconda. So just go to download. Now see here, it is getting downloaded for Windows. Right. You have to wait for five minutes. Right. And uh, once it is downloaded, then we have to install the Anaconda here. After this, then we have to go for Jupyter Notebook. Let me check. I have Jupyter Notebook. Even Jupyter is also not there. I have to download it. So let, let's let download, then I'll install it.
getting downloaded please wait for a minute Okay, now Anaconda has been downloaded. Can you able to see it? Right? Yes, sir. So it will be available in the download folder. You have to double click it.
So you are able to see my uh, anaconda, like right? so I'm installing anaconda. You are all able to see it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Right. So now I'll click on agree, right? Uh, so install for just for me or all users. So we don't have users here. I'll say just for me here. Now because it's an individual system, right? So now click on anaconda next step, right? Uh, so like anaconda, where are you going to add anaconda to my path environment variable? Yes, you have to add it, right? This can be lead to conflict with other application. Instead, use the command prompt and power cell menu add to the start menu. Okay, so that case you can remove this. Register anaconda with as my default three point one, right? Uh, so like uh, it's already it's on, that is a version of three point eleven is already at the uh, program file is available here, right? So like, uh, so like now I can click on OK. So clear the packages cache upon completion, right? Uh, so in case you want it, you can click on this and then click on next button, right? So otherwise now uh, automatically it has to add it because already Python is available. And uh, for other uh, uh, technology, other Oracle, like other languages, like uh, other uh, uh, softwares will also be there, no? You will get a port problem here. So it's better after you install, after then you can, uh, uh, um, register in your environment variables. Now the Anaconda is getting installed. So in Windows, it's going to be quite easy. You're going to click on next, 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 and then you're going to install it. And you can see the details also here. We're going to install extract, uh, going to extend all these uh, files here, right? Uh, so dependencies, everything, and then it's going to install. So it is installing. You have to wait for some time.
So let us it gets uh, installed, right? Uh, so like meanwhile we have to download the Jupiter also. Right, we'll go for Jupiter. You have to download Jupiter also. Right, uh, I'll go to this website. So, like, I'll go to my. Uh, so, let this Anaconda get installed. I'll go to my Jupiter, like, I'll go to this website. So if you go to this website, you'll come to know all about the Jupiter here. So you will come to know about the Jupiter here. What is? So first we have to install, uh, uh, what is it, Anaconda. So this, now it started installing the file Anaconda here.
So first, what you have to do is like uh, here, right? We have to download Anaconda first, right? Once you install Anaconda, then we have to launch the Jupyter Notebook. Right, we have to launch the Jupyter Notebook here. Got it? So we have to wait here actually. Once you get download, installed, then we can launch the Jupyter Notebook. So we can install Jupyter Notebook on Windows. We can install Jupyter Notebook on uh, uh, Mac also, and we can use, uh, uh, we can get started, right? Uh, so here, so skip the install, use free uh, Jupyter Notebook on cloud. We have uh, Jupyter Notebook on cloud also, right? It is not necessary that you have to install your Jupyter Notebook on your system. You can log into cloud and you can uh, use your Jupyter Notebook there also. Got it. So otherwise you have to download uh, Anaconda or Miniconda or Conda, right? Or Python package and then you have to install it, right? So then after this, uh, on uh, Jupyter Notebook, you have to download it here. So you have to download. So visit the Anaconda distribution page, download latest version of Windows, right? Once you download it, run the Anaconda installer, right? So once run the download, now it is going on. The installer is now in, getting installed here, right? So then uh, follows on the screen. And then uh, then third step is that you have to, once the installation is complete, you're going to launch the Na Anaconda Navigator from the start menu and click on Jupyter Notebook icon to launch the application. Got it? So like uh, these are the steps you're going to, so we are going to use Jupyter Notebook through Anaconda, you're going to use it. Got it? Through Anaconda, you're going to use it. You are already, we are installing it here. Take some time, you have to wait for it. Even you can visit this uh, web page. I'll share it to you uh, so that you can have a take a help and you can uh, get install your uh, Anaconda. Got it. As of now, Anaconda is not required, right? So Python is more than sufficient. Provided if you are interested, you can install Anaconda, Jupyter, everything, and we can use other. Uh, ID is also here. Like we can use uh, uh, Atom, right? Uh, uh, we can use uh, IBM, uh, or we can use Visual Code, right? Visual Studio. Any any IDs you can use it, right? Let's continue. Yes. You have any doubt? You're able to understand. You're able to understand my language. Yes, sir. yes, we understand. Okay, okay. Sir, so what is like? Don't we? Why do we have to download Anaconda Jupyter? Um, it's an ID. Should... It's an uh, software ID. Okay. So only through that uh, ID we are going to uh, write our code, right? Uh, can't we do it directly from the like? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do it. That's also we can do it. So, so what is the benefit of using an ID? I mean, I'm a total newbie, sir. For me, like, if, from my point of view, right? Like, uh, I, I would think, like, if I want to download Microsoft PowerPoint, I will download PowerPoint and use PowerPoint and save it. Correct, correct. So that, that, was, that is how I was thinking. Like, if you want to use Python, Anaconda, we'll download we download Python. All modules are available. Like, uh, all the modules are available in one place, right? There's no need to scatter, right? Or like, um, everything is available there itself, right? Or you can use multiple ways, like uh, through Anaconda, it's also an ID, like it's a platform, right? Anaconda is a platform, there can use Jupyter Notebook. Mainly, they use all these things for uh, analysis and all the stuff, only they are using it. And you can use uh, Android Studio also, 
you can sorry you can use Visual Studio Code. You can use it through that mm -hmm. also. You can install an account, right? So it's a platform. To the platform, you're going to use, but you can uh, have you can uh, download all the modules. You can import all the modules from Anaconda, right? NumPy, Pandas, everything. Otherwise, you have to install separately. Okay, so you're saying to for for us to run Python, we need to download a platform first, yes. and then yes. run. Oh. Yes. Yes. So, so why is it like that? I mean. Again, I, I'm a, I'm a mechanical background. My job is in HR, okay. and I want to learn Python to get into data. So okay. I don't know anything about this. Is like, if you can brief me, or if you can like uh, tell me, show me to a few, guide me through a few YouTube videos. Like, uh, bro, watch this. I can go and watch that also, sir. Like, yeah, I'll do it. 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 I'll do it because this is a demo class, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, go in depth now, right? Once you Done with mm -hmm. that, right? So then I can go in depth. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Sir, are we going to use Visual Studio Code in coming classes? For no, the practice? If you want, you can use it. No. That's oh. not required. If you want, you can use it. I believe it's a little easy compared to uh, other IDs. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So even you can use Anaconda, even you can use Visual Studio. Visual Studio Code, like uh, uh, sim, uh, like uh, we have uh, Atom. So many IDs are there. You can use anything. Yes. Okay. It's up to okay. you. Like uh, in the real time, what whatever company is asking you to do, you have to use it. Sublime Text, we have it. So whichever you your company is asking you to do, you have to do it. Whatever your client is asking you to do, you have to do it, right? Yes, sir. Correct. So in case you want to design your website, then that case you have to open Django. So download Django, you have to install Django. So just for developing a website, this is not sufficient. You have to go for Django. You have to learn Django. So like Python, when you, when you use Java, right? Java, core core Java is only for developing your uh, application, right? In case you want to do mm -hmm. web application, like that case, you go with serverless, JSP, EJB, right? So same way here. So with core Python, what you could develop your application, let's say. You want to do web application, then you have to go for Django, and you have to use other framework here. So what is the difference between like core Java, sorry, uh... Python, Core Python, Advanced Python. Like, aren't they not the same thing? Yeah, that's what I'm telling, right? Core Python will help you to develop your uh, normal application, like Windows application, all those stuff, like uh, gaming application. In case you want to make it online, uh -huh. that case you have to go for advanced, right? So you have to use other modules, like uh, in case you want to develop your, uh, for analysis, you're going to develop some application, right? That case you require a yeah. lot of modules, right? You have to download, you have to install the models, and you have to import those models. Inside the model, model is nothing but a package. There we have a okay. lot of libraries there. We're going to say like pandas libraries. I have to say import pandas. I have to use pandas.star. So it will try to import all these. There's nothing but inside that we'll have a lot of functions. Mm. The built-in function will be available for each and everything. Right, for print, yes. for, uh, for mm. other purpose, right? We'll have the function. We're going to import that as... From the function, we're going to use some built-in functions here. Or you can write your own uh, custom functions also. Okay, so you're saying that like, if I want to develop something like a website, or if I want to work on data. Web application or uh, uh -huh. any application you want to develop, so you have to use, uh, so either you have to use third-party modules or you have to use uh, uh, whatever uh, Python modules has been given that you can use it. Out-of-box functionality, so you can use it here. Mm. And all these modules are obviously compatible with Python. Yes, yes. So, so maximum uh, yes. modules has been mm -hmm. given by Python itself. So, oh, like, okay. separated itself, so like kind of a package, right? So library mm -hmm. package is available. So even so, we have third party mm -hmm. package which is not there. That case you're going to use third party also. Mm -hmm. When you go like with more example, complex, when you go with more mm -hmm. complex one. Okay. So like for example, uh. I would I I would assume that if somebody wants to do some data analysis, they will be working on they will be creating a lot of tables. 
yeah so not only table these table, graph 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 mm-hmm. so like so uh, these graphs fine. graphs yeah. and tables will already these are all modules that will be pre- that will be present in a so now in case uh, you want to draw graph you want to do analysis and you want to show the graph right mm-hmm. you have a data set like you have mm-hmm. your cancer data set or a flower data set so you are comparing all those data sets so data sets is nothing but data will be available you are you are writing a code for it you are analyzing the code and then uh, through the code you are analyzing the data and you are going to show them in the form of a graph that case you have to download numpy you have to install it right and then okay. you are going to uh, run the graph here right for okay. for creating a graph you require numpy okay and so so for creating graphs you need a platform like numpy So yeah, like it's a for, platform, it's a package or it's a module. Module, okay, sorry, for a module. And you said, uh, if you want to develop a website, you need something else. So you just told it was yeah. a platform. Yeah. So and so, and if I want to develop a website, though the modules pre- pre- present in those will not be graphs or not, it won't be tables. It will no, be something else. No, as of now, now when I use my Python, normal Python. I will not be able to draw graph, right? It is not possible. So now I have to download, oh. Numpy, I have to import, I have to install, and I have to import. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So now okay. see, I'm showing this graph like this. So hey, like this graph, I have to install it, right? I have to use it. How do I use it? Mm. So that case, you can go with. Uh, you have to download or you have to install modules, right? So even uh, I know, mm. I think we would have uh, seen with. Uh, Angular JS, Node JS also like there's so many modules are there, mm. right? Uh, JavaScript okay. paper. So there, what you for each and everything you have to send a mail, you have to download email dot JS file. You have to that's a module. Mm. Like there's so many modules are available here also. Okay. Yeah. Understand. So like if you wanted to developing with Python, you you will need to download different modules if you want to. Uh, do yes, data yes, analysis with import, Python. After you... downloading, you have to import mm. it, and then you have to make okay, it. Okay, okay. I understand. Oh, so it's 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 beautiful. I mean, I didn't know anything about this, but it okay. it, it feels good to know them. Thank you okay. so much. Okay, okay. So in my mind, it feels like if you want to, like if you want to, if you are an architect and if you want to design a building, yes, and if you yes. want, if if you want AC vents, you will call the AC team, and if yeah, you if you correct. want like. If you write one pipes for the irrigate or like for the of uh, pipes and like for kitchen, you will will watch. You will got the heart. You will got the uh, kitchen team, and they'll do that. Yes, yes, oh, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, thank you. Same way. Thank you so much. Yeah, but here we don't have kitchen team like all the <laughs> all developers. Yeah. But testing we yeah. have a separate team. But once initially it was mm. not like that. Uh, like everything will be done by developer itself. But now it has been diversified and uh, testing testers will be there. Testing will be done by. Uh, testers and uh, deployment team will be there. Deployment will be done by deployment team. The architect will be there. Okay. He will design and he'll give it to you, right? And uh, they'll try to give you modules, module by modules. They'll try to give it. So like uh, they'll mm. give a story, right? For each and every programmer, they'll give a story. So you have to develop. Okay. Having the story, you have to develop the code here, and finally it'll be integrated. That's how they they used to develop the application. Hmm. Okay. So now we'll get into like uh, now we have to uh, launch the Jupyter notebook, right? So like let me see, like it is getting open. One moment. Uh-huh. Yeah. See now we can able to see Anaconda Navigator here. See. Well, I'm get once I install my, you're able to see it. Yes, sir. Right now, see here. I'm able to see here for data. This Anaconda notebook I got it. So to sign it now, right? But here you can see Anaconda navigate that we have data spell for Anaconda notebook is there. Then command prompt we have Jupyter lab we have Jupyter notebook is there. Power shell, right? The power shell is there, right? Even I can use uh like uh, IP IP then uh, Fiber. So these are the framework, right? And uh, I can use Visual Code also. See here, instead Anaconda, I can use Visual Code AWS, right? AWS also I can use it here. I can connect with uh, cloud AWS cloud here, right? Likewise, we have a lot of uh, uh, tools are available here. Now I want to launch my Jupyter notebook. I click on launch here. 
see in case you want to connect with Oracle, you can connect with Oracle data, like the data science, Anaconda toolbox, right? Uh, so mini conda, like we have different uh, tools are available here, right? So I'm clicking on launching, right? Uh, I've already launched my note notebook. So what is this Jupyter notebook? It is a web-based uh, interactive computing notebook environment. You can edit and run your uh, human readable documents while describing the data analysis. For data analysis, you can use this uh, tool here. Have you seen MATLAB? Have you heard about MATLAB? No. Okay, no. So it is for mathematical uh, uh, calculation, we use MATLAB. I hope this is getting installed, right? So what I'll do is like, uh, now I will not be able to show Jupyter Notebook. It is getting installed, right? Once it's installed, next class I'll show you. Right now I got it, see? So the, the Jupyter Notebook has been, uh, uh, see, this is the Jupyter Notebook, right? So I have to run my file, right? Uh, so like I want to run, right? Uh, all the things like, uh, can go here, right? Uh, so it is loaded here, Jupyter Notebook is loaded. Now it's getting open. So now if I go with your Jupyter notebook, there is an app here. I'm going to open Jupyter notebook here. Same, it comes here, right? And I click on new, right? Like open your text file or terminal. When you say text file, you'll open the text file here. You can type your code here, right? And you can type your code, right? So like uh, like this, you can enter the code here. You can type the code and then you can run your, uh, uh, you can save, right? So like you can uh, find, right? All the stuff you can do here. You can save your code, you can rename your code, right? you can download your code. Right, all the stuff you can able to do here, like you can do here, like or in case you want to go with the terminal, you can go with terminal here, Jupyter terminal. So you can you can uh, use uh, PowerShell also you can use it here. Right, this is Jupyter terminal. So likewise you can use terminals here, right? Uh, uh, so in case you want to go with Python. So this is the uh, Python uh, ID here. Now say for example, when I type three plus five and press enter, you'll get the output. Let me say run. See, you're getting output, output eight here, right? So like Python plus uh, on, uh, online, I'm going to concatenate two strings here. And when I'm going to run here, I'm going to click on run. Sorry. 
So throwing an error. Okay. Like I have to say Python plus online. Let me check it. See, now I'm getting Python online. Because it's a string, right? So I didn't use double quotes. It is throwing an error. Now see here, you have, you have, so I use Python quotes here. And then uh, and now I'm going to concatenate here. For concatenating, I'm using a plus symbol here. So two strings are getting concatenated here. Got it? So like this, once you install your, uh, uh, what is it, Anaconda, right? And then what you can do is that you can uh, launch your Jupyter Notebook. So through the Jupyter Notebook also, I can write my code. I can write my code separately, like this, one by one. You can execute a command in the form of command here. Like command you can able to execute, one by one. This is the Jupyter Notebook, you can use it here. Got it? You're all able to understand, right? All able to understand? Yes, sir. Any doubts? No, sir, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, fine. So like, uh, this is how we have to Install our uh, Anaconda Jupyter Notebook. Got it? So then, uh, so then I showed you this how to use Jupyter Notebook, how to execute it, and all the stuff. Like uh, now, let me see the mathematical operation. What are the mathematical operations that we are going to perform using Jupyter Notebook? Like we can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, integral, integer division, right? So then exponentiation, modulus, right? All that is, so when I say 5 divided by 2, you're going to get to 2.5, right? So when I say 5 division, uh, you, you get with the mantisa part and uh, decimal part, you get it. I don't want decimal part. I want only integer. That case, you go for integer division. Here, we have a separate operator here for integer division called double slash, right? Now, say, for example, I'll show you now. I'll go to Jupyter Notebook. You're able to see Jupyter Notebook, right? Now, 5 divided by 2, right? And when I say run here, when I click on run, you're going to get only 2. Suppose if I use 5 divided by 2, then you're going to get the output as 2.5. Now, see here. You're able no, to see. I can't, I can't see the Jupyter Notebook, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pa pardon? I cannot so see. Can't the see... You can't see Jupyter Notebook. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Now I'll show you. Now see here. So when I say in the Jupyter notebook, when I type 5 divided by 2, right, uh, double slash, I'm getting only integer part, integer division, output. Right? When I say 5 divided by 2, you're getting the output as 2.5. See the difference here? Got it? See the difference? Right? In case you want to have integer division, you're going to use 5 double slash 2. You're going to get the output here. Right? When I say 5 divided by 2, I'm going to get an output like this. Right? With a decimal value. Right? So we have multiple yeah. operators available here. Right? We have multiple operators available here. Now see, for example, um, yes, tell me, uh, sir, you are about to ask some doubt. I want to do addition 5 plus 4. Right? And I run, I'm going to get an output. 5 minus 2. Right, five into three. Right, so I have shown five divided by two. I want to find out modulus. Five modulus two. What is out? See, it is one. Right, we are able to use all the operators, like arithmetic operators, right, which is available in Python. Right, we are able to use arithmetic operator. Right, which is available in the Python. Got it. I'll share the PPD now. Right. So I can see now addition. So in the Jupyter notebook, I never say 5 plus 2 and I run it. I'm getting an output. Like subtraction, multiplication, division, integer division, right? Exponentation also. My model is only exponentation I didn't show you. Right? 5 into 2. I'll show you that also. Right now, I'll say here five into into two. Right, star star two. 
So what is the output? It is going to return 25. Got it? Mm. You're able to understand? Got it? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Okay. So these are the operators like we can use it here. Standard mathematical operator. Right? So these are the standard mathematical operator which can use it here. Right? The same thing. Now see here, this is an expression. 5 plus 2 into minus 3. You're going to get the output as minus 1 here. So, but here we have used, uh, what is it, a uh, uh, parenthesis. So, we have to go with how we have, uh, here we understand like how to execute, evaluate the expression. Now we are going to evaluate the expression. Now, this is a normal expression. Now, here yeah, actually in computer we have board mass rule, right? We have uh, brackets. First, brackets will be evaluated, right? Uh, board mass, B O D M E S. Brackets of, right? So, like, uh, uh, division, multiplication, then addition, and then subtraction. Right now, see here how this uh, expression will be evaluated. First, it will go for multiplication, right? Because division is not there. Right? Precedency. Uh, I'm talking about the precedency. Now, this is an expression. Right? Five plus two into minus three. Five plus two into minus three. So, like we have to go with Bodmas rule. What does Bodmas rule say? Right. So if there is any bracket, first precedency goes for, first preference will go for bracket. But here we don't have bracket here. Do we have bracket? No. Right, then, so then we have multiplication or division. Here do we have division? No. So for multiplication division, we have same precedency. But here we don't have division. So we have multiplication. So now what happens? First two into minus three will be done. So it becomes minus six. Minus six plus five, what happens? You're getting minus one. That's how the expression will be evaluated. You understand it? That's how the expression will be evaluated. But now, see the second example. But now, the parenthesis has been given here. 5 plus 2, the parenthesis has been given. 5 plus 2 means what? 7. 7 threes are 21. So, you are getting minus 20. Now, suppose when you use parenthesis, this side, right hand side. So, 5 plus 2 into 3. So, 6, uh, 6 plus, uh, minus 6 plus 5, minus 1. Got it? So, however, use parenthesis, so first preference will given will be given to the parenthesis here. But in the first example, we don't have parenthesis, but according to the operator precedency, it goes, it tries to evaluate. Right? And also when it comes to expression, the expression will be evaluated from left to right, right to left. That is also there. Right? This is what we call as an expression. Now we are telling I'm discussing about how the expression is getting evaluated. Normally, mathematically, right, the expression will be evaluated 5 plus 2 into 3. That's how it will be evaluated. But so here, yeah, yeah, tell me. I'm yeah. not seeing your power, with the PowerPoint page. We are oh. still on the notebook, yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, yeah. Now you are able to see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just seeing it now. Now see here. Now the first expression is 5 plus 2 into minus 3. How this, this is an expression. Right, you know what is an expression, right? Expression yeah. is man, nothing but combination of operand and operator. Expression is nothing but combination of operand and operator. Now, which is operand here? Now, 5, 2, minus 3 is an operand. Which is an operator here? Plus in asterisk or operator. The combination of operand and operator is called as an expression. The combination of operand and operator is called as an expression. So, now this is an expression. How this expression will be evaluated? So, first it will do, so based on board mass rule. What is the board mass rule? B O D M A S. B is for bracket. Of M is for uh, so D D B O D D is for division. And then M is for multiplication. And A is for addition. And then S is for subtraction. That is called board mass rule. It goes with the expression will be evaluated based on both board mass rule. Right now, if you take this expression, so first precedency goes for uh, asterisk. That is uh, into multiplication. So first two into six, three will be multiplied. So you get six, six plus five, this is minus six. Minus six plus five, minus one you are getting. Now the, that is the case here in the second one, second example. You are putting a parenthesis on the left hand side for five plus two. First this expression, in this expression, five plus two will be a value. Five plus two is seven, seven to three, 21. It is minus three. So that case you are going to get output minus 21. See the difference. What, what if I don't use parenthesis? What if I use parenthesis? Right, so that is the case here. We can see third example here. Five plus into that is five plus of 
2 into minus 3. So first, uh, this uh, parallel will be evaluated. This output will be added with 5 here. So that makes an output. That you are getting an output. This is how the mathematical operation will happen based on the parallel, based on the expression. This is how the expression will be evaluated. You have to understand how the expression is getting evaluated in Python, even in Java, in C, C or any language. So the expression will be evaluated only this way. Normally, when you write mathematically, when you calculate mathematically orally, so you do uh, you do the calculation differently. But in computer, it is going to evaluate the expression only this way. Hope you understand it, right? Am I going very fast? Yes, sir. No, no. no. You are able to understand. I think. It, it... Yeah, I think in normal general mathematical equation also we follow the same rule. Like we don't watch. What's okay. in the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But in computer we do use it. Right? So now this is what I'm talking about the uh, order of precedency. But here actually in other language we call this board mouse rule. But here it is called P E M D A S. So P P for stands for parenthesis, E stands for mm -hmm. exponentiation, M stands for multiplication. D stands for division, then addition and subtraction. They change this as P E M D A S. Right. So parenthesis, they added exponent exponent term, added here. Yes, so they have added exponent here and then multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. This is how it is happening. Right. So the same expression I told you. Right. I showed you. Got it. So like you have an exercise also. Subtract 5 to the third power, right? Which is 53 from the uh, 100 and divided by uh, 5 here. So you're going to get a result. Right. So like uh, we have uh, integer and float complex here. Right. So like uh, now you can see, I want to find out the type of six. What type of data is it? What kind of data type is it? When I say type of six, it's going to return integer. Right. Because it's a dynamic type language. Right. It is able to identify what kind of data type is it. But other language is strongly typed language. The strongly typed language, there is a difference between strongly typed language and dynamic language, dynamic type language. Strongly typed language is when you declare a variable, the variable should be prefixed with data type. But here, we don't specify any data type here. See, now see here, when I say six here, right, when I use this method function called type of six, it is going to find out what kind of data type here. But other language, it cannot because this is a dynamically typed language. This is a good example for dynamically typed language. In the futures of Python, I told you dynamically typed language, right? This is so when I use type of six, what is going to give? It is going to give integer. Now I'll show the example. Now see here. I'll go back to notebook. Now here I'm going to say type of 10. Type of 10. And now when I run it, it is going to print integer because it's an integer type. Now I'm going to say type of 457.2389. Right. Now we're going to run it. So it is going to say float. So float means it's going to decimal value. Here, when you go with more, uh, still when you go with complexity, if you go with after decimal point, we go with more number of digits, then it is called as a, a double. But here, it varies different types of range here. For integer, it starts with minus 32767 to plus 32767. So likewise, we have different range here in uh, uh, Python. Got it. So up to this, up to one range, we can know it, it is called as integer. When it goes beyond that, then we have to go for uh, long, like long data type, right? So whereas here, so when it goes with decimal value, it's called float. Got it? So likewise, we have different types of data type here. Right? We have different types of data type. Using type, uh, using type, I can able to identify what kind of data type is it, right? Using type. I can I can identify what kind of data type is that. Got it. Now see here, integer of, I want to find out now, I have a, a function called integer of 7.9999. It is going to exclude, after decimal is going to exclude all the decimal values, it's going to print only the integer, the mantis are part. Got it. So now float of six, it is going to display. When I say float of six, right, the parameter is going to pass integer. It is converting into the float here. Right, and I can able to convert into complex type also. I can able to convert this into complex type. Right, so like we for which what we are using, we are using different functions methods here. We use a function called type function. We use integer function. We use float function. Right, 
So this is a complex type, right? The complex type will be added here and going to give the output like this. And we have different types of number type here. We have different types of number type here. Like uh, this is a complex type, right? Complex number type. Complex number type arises when taking the square root of neg negative number. Right? There is no real number whose square root is minus 9. So we say that it is equal to 3i. Another example for complex number is 2i plus 3. So Hello, sir. Yeah. Please remember to navigate back to the PowerPoints and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm navigating here. So like uh, I showed this, these are the examples I showed it here. I told you about type of 6, type of 6.0, that makes a difference. So because it's a dynamically typed language, this is an example for dynamically typed language. Got it? So when I say integer of 7.9, it is going to display only 7. It is displaying only integer value. Float. It is converting into float. It is going to convert into complex. Now that's what I'm discussing about complex here. What is complex number? So uh, we're going to take the square root of negative numbers, right? So there, there is no real numbers here, right? So whose square root is minus nine. So we say that it's equal to three i, right? So that's that's an example for complex number, right? So here we have different types of complex numbers and uh, number types we have discussed. Remaining things we'll discuss in the next class, right? So like variables and we have to discuss everything. Everything you cannot discuss in the same day, right? You have to go with variables, multiple variables, com comments, documents, strings, strings. So we have so one by one we have to do. Got it. I'll stop here. Got it. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Thank you, sir. I mean, this, this class is very good, especially for someone like me. I felt like... That's I, what I have. I was very specifically I'm asking you whether you are in... Uh, 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 what, what, like you are a uh, uh, beginner or like, so the recording I can drive. It. Yes, sir. Okay. It was interactive. Even I was very much interested. So it was quite interesting, like uh, speaking with you guys. And uh, it was, uh, that's what we wanted. It should be interactive. Yes, sir. Yes. So any other things you want to discuss with me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. From my side. Uh, yeah. Thanks for your presentation. It's like very good. Your good name, sir? My name is Sudhakar. Yes, sir. Tell me. Sir. Yeah, uh, I would like to know something. You mentioned some content of aspect. It's a lot, a lot of topics mentioned and fill in the PPT. Yes, present yes. PDF. Yeah, yeah. But is it possible to complete it in more four weeks uh, duration, actually? That is my one of the questions. Yes, I have to complete all those things in four weeks. But uh, doesn't mean it is not like four weeks. Even uh, I don't mind uh, expanding it. So once I show the content, I have to complete all the things. So even the institute is not very specific with only four weeks. We do, we go, we can expand until I complete my course. So we can have the class. That's not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. That Thanks. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, I thought AWS, but it was only for four weeks, but uh, more than seven weeks, like uh, uh, weekend classes. Yeah, yeah, that's my that's my point. I saw that content after that realized that okay, this is really possible that during this time period. Yeah, that's yeah. So if at all I'm commercial, if my mind is going to be commercial, then I can finish within four weeks. I'm not commercial, <laughs> like, uh, but uh, my student has to understand it. Yeah, yeah, that's because we are a team all together. Some of people are already mentioned in this beginner. Some some people are a little bit idea. Even I had some basic in the Python so far. So we correlate all the. I will join these things and we at least we have a, expecting at least end up the day one small kind of uh, project is it would be great actually yeah then I can give a project that's not a problem but provided mm -hmm. uh, uh, because it's an online right yeah, uh, yeah. Just you have to work and then you have to if you have, you have any doubt you can get back to me. yeah super yeah thanks we'll have a capstone project at the end of the course I'll give it to so take two weeks time you try to complete it and I'll submit it no problem. But in between, I'll give you post you the exercises, pro program. Okay. You have to work on the programs and come back. Right? Yes, sir. Uh, sir. Yeah. Uh, you could name. Sir? Like once, uh, my name is Afrohan Ahmed. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Sir. I'm from Hyderabad. Uh, so you are from Hyderabad. I wanted. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm actually uh, from Hyderabad, but I'm an international student now. Your in New Jersey. 
Okay. You So, are in uh, I'm in currently I'm in New Delhi. Okay. Yeah. Tell me. Sir. Um, if 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 I want to access the video again, and if, is that only possible once I buy the course, like a recording of the video? Yes. 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 Once Okay. you join Okay. the course, only you will get those access. Okay, Just sir. demo section. Just I showed you an example, right? How might Mm-hmm. be? How my session would be? Not the thing. What all stuff I have Yes. used. Thing, right? So once you like it, you are going to join the course. Then we go elaborately. Based on that, you can access my uh, documents. Everything will be Mm. uploaded Exactly. in graphic. Understood. Understood. And uh, uh, yesterday's class for network issues was not Yeah, the class was started. not happened, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. That So, yesterday is also demo. So, but what mm are -hmm. you coming to say? Like, you want to compensate that? no, no, no. Okay. No, like, We were supposed to have two class anyway, right? It's like Saturday and Sunday. Yes, So, because is there Saturday, going to be another class? uh, because Uh -huh. even uh, I was not feeling well yesterday, and uh, my Understood. next issue, I had it. Uh, I never, actually, I never uh, skip it. Uh, knowingly, it got skipped yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, yeah. Very sorry for So, so, it. Very sorry no, for no, 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 sir. No, please don't be, sir. I mean, it happens to the best of us. it. And I'm not able to. Uh, hi, yeah. I'm audible now. No, lightly, lightly. Okay, uh, I was saying, uh, please don't be sorry. This happens to the best of us. Uh, I'm not I, I able was to just, hear I you. would. I'm not able to hear you. Okay. Ah, now it's audible. Am, am I audible? Yeah. Okay. Now you are Awesome, audible. awesome. Yeah. I'm very sorry So, for I was saying, being able to make yeah, it. no, sir. No, Personally, no, sir. Please don't be sorry. I uh, I Please ask don't sorry be sorry. for I was... everyone. Yes, sir. Like, uh... <laughs> no, sir. Please, please don't be sorry. Uh, I, I I was I was thinking maybe if there is a class because tomorrow. Uh, I don't want to miss the class, so I just want to make sure if there No, no, is no. a class or Only if weekend there is not class, a class. right? Uh, Only we can class. Very Okay. weekend class. It will not be like uh, that. Is the case Understood. they'll inform you. That Okay. is the case they'll Okay. inform you. They'll inform you. The back end team will inform you. I understand. So most likely we will be meeting uh, the next Only on Saturdays and Sundays. Saturday. This Yes, this sir. yeah. Thank you. This batch is only for Saturday and Sunday. Seven to nine. Got it. Got it. Thank you. And one more point, please uh, mention further uh, timings. Whenever you're feeling not feeling well or something, missing these classes, please ad advance information message to us so that you can plan accordingly. Yeah, it would yeah, be great. so yesterday Yeah. it was uh, not it is, unfortunately I got I, I I got a problem like uh, the network was not working and uh, all the stuff was joined together. Never used to miss it. Okay. No, no, just in case we were humans, right? Definitely happened something. Obviously, Yes, obviously, I used to message them. yeah, that that is my point. Yeah, please, case I'm uh, going so that for we'll a plan camp. accordingly. Uh, Uh, in case I have some other work, if I'm going for a camp, I'll ask them to cancel it. I'll take a permission from the logical lab. I'll ask, they will message you. It'll be informed. It'll be informed. Never ever I want to, actually, I never used to do it, but yesterday it was happened, actually, uh, accidentally it happened. That's what I'm telling. Uh, I'm asking you sorry for it. Sir, once the course starts, like once, like say for example, once I, uh, you know, finance the course and I'm, uh, we are, all, I'm officially a part of the course. Uh, if I have any, uh, if and you gave me an exercise and it is not a weekend, and if I have a doubt, can I text you on the WhatsApp like, oh, sir, this is No, where I got I'm stuck. not. You know? I will not be able to connect with WhatsApp. So there is Okay. no rule. They they are following a different uh, uh, rules, right? You have to send a message to backend team. They will forward it to me. That's how only they will. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Not, you cannot directly connect with me. It's not possible. I, I see. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, uh, my name is Vishnu. So I have a say on the follow up question on the same. Uh, yeah, uh, as my uh, another colleague, I mean, the batchmate asked that. So, like, I know, um, you know, this is time sensitive, right? So probably, uh, you know, uh, whenever we get us, uh, of course, uh, you're busy with something, but uh, there should be some other you know, technical assistant who can help us uh, on an online, uh, right? So is that something there? Because I know, like, you know, the backend team would have sent the, you know, query to you and you take, uh, you know, some time because you're busy. And, you know, that takes some time. So it's as good as, you know, we, we can only get an answer uh, Uh, in the next class so which is like another week so yeah Yeah, like is uh, there like uh, we have a backend team. They will also 
support you in case if they could not then they will forward it to trans they'll maximum they'll transfer to me only right even the back end team also can do it we have a couple of uh, programmers and everything back end we have it no problem at all maximum they will try to help it and they will uh, bring it to my notice also because i should also know it right what doubt you have asked it suppose yeah. like um, in the class you said uh, like i have asked this doubt like uh, i should be i should understand but th that time it's not feel that it's a new doubt right hope you understand me right no no i understand that sir because i know right so uh, of course you know the uh, how the learning curve happens right so while you're listening yeah. so you can well but mm -hmm. as you are you know start coding it so you get a lot of uh, you know other issues so that yeah. might be sometimes silly issues so that we don't want to get all these things to you but yeah of course you know there should be some no, don't uh, worry don't fight don't feel that is very silly so only even if it's silly you ask me right uh, so that that helps you to learn programming and comes to programming don't feel it's very silly right so you come out from uh, uh, like uh, you come out from your uh, other thing and you can ask any doubts no problem thanks thanks anything else no sir okay. shall i uh, close it shall i close shall i wind up this session yes uh, please sir yes sir yes okay. so somebody wants to ask some doubt no i mean uh, i just want to ask that okay so from the next week is it going to be a, a live session or you wait for uh, enrollment and then you decide the next that's class? what they take one week time no they take that enrollment they will look after so from okay. next day onwards we'll have class regular class okay yeah Actually, I hope so. like for weekend weekdays batches two days will be demo class and they take some two or three days time for enrollment and the batch will kick start like uh, and you have enough time right with a weekend batch yeah yeah they will so, contact you you can discuss with them and okay. then you want to pay the fees and then uh, so you can talk all those stuff with the back end i have no way related to that only i'll deliver my class no worry sir no probably i'm just asking a logistic issue so yeah hopefully someone will contact me so i'll wait yeah, for that they will contact you back end team will contact okay. not at Thanks. all about uh, sorry, uh, interrupt you because still we have one more demo, or we'll continue the next. You know, I didn't get the point exactly. So we'll continue, so the we'll continue with the classes from next week onwards. Maybe yes. we'll come to other classes. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. The real, real uh, content will start, right? Like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. this will be continued. This will be continued. Okay, good. Yes, yeah. anything else? Shall I close it? Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Nice meeting you and uh, nice discussing with you. Uh, I had a wonderful session today. So we'll continue and uh, so stay tuned until next Saturday. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, bye sir. Bye. Thank, bye. You so much. bye. thank you. Thank you. Can call me Raki. Bye.